I was an infantryman. I was combat about five months, six months, I don't remember. Uh, I, I, and we were in the war all the time. I mean, on patrols, hunting them out, digging them out, yeah, wherever we find them. No, in uh, Pacific, Pacific, Japanese. Oh, okay. Yeah. They gave me a present, the Japanese, uh, on my 19th birthday. This is my foxhole. Me and my buddy, we had a big boulder inside, and they landed a shell right next to, to the... <laughs> wow. It blew our poncho tent full of holes. That, Wow. That was a present. We're in the Philippines, South Pacific. In the Philippines. Yeah. Uh huh. You got two battle stars. Two battle stars. Bronze star, combat badge, huge. Saw Manila. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Manila, but after the. After it was taken, uh, I, I, we came in right after that, after they took Manila. I got in on the command of the one where the prisoners were. I didn't get to see them. No, they're already taken, and then we come in later. After that, they 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 took the, the, the place, and they the Japs surrounded. we were going to take it again. That's when we came in mm. there. So. I get every yeah everybody fights a good fight if they're uh, in, in thick jungle and all that. I mean, they got camouflage and all that. You're going to what you are. You're on the open, and you're going in the jungle to get them. And they're in the tree. They might be dug in. They might be anywhere. Uh, they were dug in like rats with tunnels. And, but we had to root them out. At the, and I don't know it's how to explain it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when, we, when I landed with the troop replacements. I, we were troop replacements. When I would, uh, they, they shelled us when we got to the uh, 42nd, the 43rd Division. They shelled us and we ha had to get out of the truck right quick and find a buddy, Foxo buddy. I got one from Kentucky. And I was with him for a while, then I, we stayed with him. Then we, the last two days, two weeks of the war, we got replacements to, because they were you going to go invade Japan. And uh, we took them out to another island and cleaned it up. And training, putting the Puerto Rican training combat size, and uh, hmm. the next day, uh, uh, two weeks later, we were taken off the island and put on ships. The captain says we're going in. The ships are waiting for us to go load up tomorrow, and we're going in to invade Japan. Hmm. 
Five minutes later, he came back and he said, "Well, thank God, you were not going. We're we're going, but we're the war's over." Wow. And we. That was it. Yeah. I mean, with every time there was a mission, we were sent out to do it. I don't know. I, I, I had the, the scratch in the, from the explosion a little bit, like on the foot, but nothing serious. I didn't report it until I went to get a, got infected. Mm. Uh, I went and got a, to, the, to the medic. We had a medic assigned to us. And he, he would say, we will get you a wound. I said, no, that's just a scratch, a blister. <laughs> mm. I, I didn't know that, that it was five, five points. Uh, mm. But we rode that typhoon from Manila. I don't know whether it was Manila or where the hell it was. Uh, you don't know nothing, just you gotta go, go, go. Uh, what's that? Did all of you. Friends, uh, friends, no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna see me get up. I had a good buddy, and the day before we went. Walking around outside of the camp in town, but anyway, day next day, I guess he was killed then, and we had to go in and replace him. I never saw him no more, uh, never. It's from from uh, Oklahoma. We we were on the same ship going in. Uh -huh. It was a good party. <laughs> I'm easy to cry lately. I don't know why. I've never cried till now, lately. Just gets me. I guess I'm uh, old. Mm. Too old. I'm gonna be 96 next year, next month. I don't know. <laughs> no, I thank God for that. I'm not proud. No, I think the last day. I can't remember. Anyway, I went on patrol. I uh, I was knocked off my feet, and I couldn't figure that out. I just just like if I was hit, the because well, we lost the scout just a few hours ago, and I got hit, and it either hit my rifle, I didn't, which jammed on me. Or hit my ammo bandolier. I don't know, but the funny part about it is, I heard one of the guys say, "Pulaski get hit," and the sergeant. I heard him say, "Is is he bleeding?" He said, "No." He says, "Well, just throw him in that jab hole." We were attacking the hill. Uh, then I woke up next morning and we moved out. That was it. I helped capture two Japs. When we were training the Puerto Ricans, 
Or oh, the, Fili the Filipinos, yeah. We captured two jet. But on that island there, we captured a, a total of about five, five Japs. And, uh, four, four Japs, men and one Korean woman. There were the first three, uh, two that we caught. And the Japanese was a officer of a ship that was torpedoed and sunk. And these, these are people that swam ashore. Japanese, and we have mostly were looking for them in the high general. The I can never think of his name was was on that island. The second day I was in combat was shelled knee motors and machine guns. Uh, I don't know. I shot. Uh, well, I hit the ditch and I didn't couldn't get my head out of the ditch. <laughs> and the sergeant was walking up and down, and he I said, "Get your head out of there. You can't see them if they're coming at you." And he was right. And he picked me up to run, like from here to the other wall where the old dead log was there to see if I could see anything on that. No. And the machine gun chased me all the way. Mm. <laughs> well, you don't think of nothing. I didn't. I didn't. You know. I don't know about that. Why I acted the way I did. I acted like it was just a play game, an acting game. But I prayed on the, uh, on the ship just before we embarked to the God that if anything happens, don't make me no coward or no traitor or nothing. And, and that's what I was afraid of. I being just, I just turned, turned 18. I was born three months before and he had me up for 18 anyway. And I was, I was thinking that all these men are taller than me, they heavier than me. Why am I carrying all this stuff up here? And I thought, well, I could do it. I was a caddy and a golf course. <laughs> Sometimes I had two bags, you know, and I said, I could do it. I carried two bandoliers and a belt and ammo on my strap of my rifle. 